but he saw it fit to cancel to cancel that meeting to be with his, his children and some of us are his grandchildren. Baba, we honor you. Adoito, Adoito, like I demo, we go to the door, we want to remain in a group. Nema, Nema, no, Koro, Nita, ya Kuria, Bere, no, Koro, Bewa, Kuria, Kuna, Prime Minister, Ira, Odinga, Ogo, Mukuhere, Iriye. Ndiya tu arenya uru wadu marauga ga Oyura ira to tuide to igwete horo wa akeru no tu wade kumuona Ibiwe tu wadaga tuwa kumuona Nari ukumuero au Olea raira eh ha ha prime minister wito ya haru to kumuona mo kumuona Ginga kumo huti ya na mo kumo huti ya Na tuhiru gado horo tuhia mwe Tuhia mwadwa itu Tuhia mwadwa itu Neto koro kama tuwa mwadwa uri weyo Neto koro kama tuwa presenti wito Nyoni ina guwa kwa lea marauga na toko tindiru gado horo hamwe Na mwemenye Tuwari ya tuwe bere ya gai Na idu ya geko tu tihana na geto gano ni ojira togo vye ni ojira togo vye Your Excellency The person I want to invite here Is your own daughter Na kuna injustice, injustice moja ambayo wae mwenye umetufanyia Na mwenye nita kuambia siku hii ya leo Vijana wetu Umewachukua Wasitana wetu umechukua Wamechukulua na vijana wako Sasa na sisi wadai haki yetu kama vijana mwateke nya region Lazima tuwe na exchange program Nataka kumkaribisha rafiki yangu Dada yangu Wini Odinga My sister Wini Aya Thank you very much, Ngugi. You know, I met Ngugi uh, last year, a year ago, and I met him in Bondo, in Bondo town. So I know people have been asking, how did Ngugi become a senator all of a sudden? You have to come to Bondo. <laughs> um, Dad, I know you don't like protocols, so today I'll just call you Baba. My name is Winnie Imgada, Koth, Juma, Neema, Odinga. But you can call me Kazi. Or oh, in Kijalua, they call me Togo. Is Kitinda Mimba. Baba, ni meskia watu wakisema, ati yawezi bonga sheng. That we've been treating in sheng, na Baba wezi bonga sheng. But hini mse wa Kanairo. Hini mse wa Nairobi. Yeah? Wale wengine ni wakukam. Yeah? Huh? Akukuja hapa na gari ya matanga ama ama barua ya chief. Yeah? So wale wengine Nairobi kuna wenyewe. Wale wengine wanaweza kutuuzia kuku ama something like that. But na Nairobi ni yetu. Um I was asked to speak about uh, my father to tell a story that can uh, bring out who he is as a person so when I was thinking about it I was wondering what story ca could I really talk about and uh, I tried to remember the first the first memory I have of my father which I'm going to tell you about today um, you know in our house we are two sets of siblings and uh, my siblings have their own story, which is a very deep and sad story. Um, so I will not speak about it today because it's not my story to tell. Um, I remember when I was younger, he was always working. He was always working and he would always come home late, around quarter to 11, and he would leave by six in the morning. So, uh, I remember wanting to wait for him. And then Mama would have told me to go to bed at 9 o'clock. And those days I used to share a room with my brother and my sister. And uh, our rooms were facing the gate. So when the car would come, I would get out of bed and I would rush downstairs and open the door. But the thing, the key was used to be put so high up. So I used to take a broom and hit the key until mama tied for me a rope where I could reach the key. So I would open the door. And when you open the door, I would see him there with a briefcase, his newspapers, and a big phone. 
And when you'd see me, you would get so excited. He used to pick me up, he'd put me on his shoulders, and we would go around the sitting room. And he used to sing this uh, nursery rhyme. It was in Dulu. I don't remember the words. But I remember it was about a donkey. And it would go something like that. Then at the end would go, hee haw, hee haw, hee haw. And he used to do that, hee haw. And we would collapse on the chair. Then uh, he would sit on the chair, I would go down quickly, I'd untie his shoes, take his shoes to the door, take the briefcase to the room with the phone, put it on the charger. I walk into the room, mama is asking me why I'm still awake. Then I'd run downstairs, we'd watch the 11 o'clock news and see you next time. So next time was not a very, it wasn't today, tomorrow, whatever, it was long periods of time. So one day I asked him, where do you go? Why do you always come so late? What do you do? And uh, he told me, I'm going to show you where I go. So that time, it was about 97, we went to, for an NDP rally. And uh, that was the time of Tinga. And he put me on the tractor he was on. And as the tractor was driving through, people were screaming and, you know, excited, and I got so afraid. And he told me, don't be afraid, these are your people. And I asked him, what do you mean my people? And he said, no, this is your family. And he said that if you live a good life, then they must live better than you. And if you think... <laughs> Thank you. If you think you deserve the best, then they deserve better. And if you think, if you walk around thinking you deserve the world, then you must give them the universe. And uh, that, that, that story really has always stuck with me. Uh, because it finally made sense where he was, where he's been going, and um, it really brought out the issue that he's a fighter. So I, am, I hope that tells you what sort of person this is. He's a fighter. If you want something, you have to fight for it. Um, you know, I see young people complaining today about Kenya, but Kenya cannot be better if we do not fight for it. There's nobody who's going to make Kenya better for you. We're the ones to fight for it. So next year in 2022, there's going to be two outcomes. Either something very good will happen or something terribly bad will happen. And so you have to get up and fight against those forces. Um, in, in life, when we talk about things, there's nobody who's going to give anything to you. Okay? Even if somebody comes to the church and gives you 10 million, that doesn't make you a millionaire. All right? We have to get up and we have to fight for it. There are things we want. We want jobs. Baba Tunataka Wera. We want jobs. Real jobs. Sustainable jobs. Uh, and that won't come for us sitting in the house. So sometimes no one will say, I keep fight and I'm wondering why doesn't he just stay at home with us. And I realize the fight is part of the fight. You have to join the fight and go with him. So your mambo ya kuka kwa nyumba ati mse flani, how flani will fight for you, is only jokes. You have to get up, join the fight. And the first step to the fight is to register to vote. So tell your friend, tell a friend, tell another friend, for heaven's sake, we have to register to vote. Um, I'm proud to have a father like Baba. Um... I see somebody who is still fighting for us after all these years. And by us, I mean uh, you people, the people of Kenya. Because the fam as a family, we've never really owned him. He's always been out with you guys. So you're the real owners of him. You're the ones he spent eight years in detention for. You're the ones he spent those long nights out for and weeks away from home. And you're the ones who time after time he shakes hands for. And so I would just implore everybody to join the fight. Now, 
You're looking for a second wife. No, my first wife. Uh, yeah, people are always telling me that. Uh, t tell them that I said Winnie Odinga will get married in 2022 on the lawns of State House. So, <laughs> and you're all invited. So, if you want that to happen, go register to vote. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, my sister. By the powers. Oh. <laughs> I, I, I withdraw and apologize. I withdraw and apologize. Now. It's okay, it's okay, DJ. Winnie, by the powers bestowed upon me, I now declare you out of market. Asante sana. Uh, I would be inviting the governor. I'll be inviting you shortly. Kwa sababu, you have taught me one thing, to be loyal. There are people who have been loyal to, the, to his excellence, the prime minister, because they wanted something. Or maybe because they wanted to be re-elected. But even after serving your second term, you are still loyal to him. And this is what we need even in our generation. Without much ado, please come on stage. Ongelesha vijana wako. Natuwekewe ile ile wimbo. Governor Napenda.